This week's Current Climate, which every Saturday brings you a balanced view of sustainability news. Sign up to get it in your inbox every week. Some may view this as an overly confident assessment, but it's hard to deny the influence private companies can have in determining how sustainable the future will be. For instance, it was Shell this week that pulled the plug on the controversial new oil field off the coast of Scotland. The oil giant held a 30% stake in the project, and ultimately realized it wasn't economically beneficial, as reported by the BBC. The British government, despite setting a net zero target, has yet to officially scrap the oil field. For examples of entrepreneurship driving innovation and sustainability, look to the Forbes 30 Under 30 class of 2022, check out the energy, manufacturing and industry, retail and e-commerce, food and drinks, and social impact lists for some particularly intriguing examples. In this week's Climate Talks, I spoke to Vaidi Cowan, who made the Forbes 30 Under 30 energy list in 2020 along with her co-founder Jan Justice Schmidt for their company Inaptor, which is producing a device that can create green hydrogen through electrolysis. They were among the recipients of Prince William's Earthshot Prize and got to demonstrate their device at COP26 in front of Bill Gates. The whole food system, from mine to field to store to plate is woven so tightly together that it's difficult to change one piece of it without changing all of it. A redesign requires system-level analysis and thought. Carbon offsets are a divisive issue in the sustainability space, chiefly due to the difficulties surrounding accurate measurements of their efficacy in reducing carbon emissions. Satellite technology could provide a solution to that problem. New funding for exploring fungal networks could transform our understanding of soil health, carbon sequestration and bring new opportunities for sustainable agriculture. 